I've got on a mission to find which tool is better, Restream versus StreamYard. And we're gonna actually jump within the tool and I'm gonna show you the differences. This is what Restream looks like. This is the user interface right here. It's pretty simple. And this is what StreamYard looks like. User interface is also simple. And both of these tools do very similar things. Like if we just click on create new here, what we can do is we can create a new Restream Studio, which is essentially a live stream. So live from OBS, you can upload a video file, a playlist, or you can just record your screen. And the same goes for StreamYard. We can live stream, recording, or do an air webinar. So if we click on create a live stream here in StreamYard, this is very simple to do. As you can see here, we can just choose the YouTube channel, you can title it, you can descript it, and click on create live stream. That will then enter the studio. That's where we can kind of customize our settings. I can see here the mic is working, blah, 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 blah. So I have two webcams going here. So this might be a little weird, but I just want to test this. So what's really cool about StreamYard here is we have the interface. We can see the comments as they come in. We can actually post the comments on the screen live, which is really cool. We have tons of customizations. We can even do a private chat here. And to add people to our stream, this is extremely simple here. Down here, we just click invite, and then we can add as many people as we want, and we can change the view here. So as you can see, StreamYard is extremely simple to get going. The user interface is so simple. It's almost, it feels like an Apple product. So if we go back over to Restream, it's kind of the same story here. So Restream kind of has a similar feel, and both of these tools are extremely simple here. We can change all the design, the branding. I feel like we do get some more customizations here at Restream. It just feels a little more in depth. This feels like the Android user of like live streaming. We can add people to the stream. We can change the views. We can essentially do everything we can in StreamYard, except you can do a little bit more. There's more customizable backgrounds in here. There's private chat, there's notes, there's music, there's QR codes. So both of these tools are extremely similar. And I've noticed through using these tools for the last year, if one tool has a feature, the other doesn't, it will copy itself. So they're essentially at neck and neck with different settings and features. I think next, the biggest thing you need to worry about is pricing, right? Which of these tools cost more or like, are they similar? So this is StreamYard's pricing here. They do have a free plan, but it has a watermark on your videos, which is unacceptable, my personal opinion. So they have a core plan that's $25 a month and you get full 1080 HD. You can multi-stream to three destinations. You can have 10 participants in your streams. Can you imagine having 10 people in a stream? Like that would be insane. Then they have an advanced plan where you get 4K recording, that's huge, right? And you get multi-stream to eight destinations. You can have 15 backstage participants. It's crazy. All right, so let's compare that to Restream. So the free plan, which is zero, can only do 720p recording. So that, we can't be having that, right guys? Then if we go to the standard plan, it's only $16 a month. But what I don't like here is it doesn't say the quality of video. Because the standard free plan is 720p and the professional plan is 1080p. So you'd think standard would at least be 1080p, but I don't like how it doesn't say that. Then they have a professional plan that is 1080p, that's $39 a month, and you get up to five channels. What kind of sucks though is I don't see anything about 4K recordings. For a stream yard here, it says 4K recordings. I like that. Because as you grow as a creator, 4K is the future. My advice to you should be uploading in 4K whenever possible. So the pricing comparison, I feel like StreamYard wins a little bit on this. And again, you'll save uh, $60 plus if you do the yearly annual pricing, which is only $20 a month, which is the welcome offer. And the pricing goes down to 39 bucks a month. I don't see anything about annual pricing with Restream, which kind of is weird. Well, I feel like StreamYard wins on the pricing. So another cool feature these tools do here is they do recordings within the tool itself. StreamYard calls it a local recording. I'm gonna call this test recording. And I'm just gonna jump in here and try this. We are entering the studio. All right, so essentially what we do is we add what cameras we want. And then if I click present, what I can do is I can add slides. I can add an extra camera. I can actually share a screen as well. And, and that's pretty cool, right? So if you want to do like local recordings, we could share the screen on this. So now that I'm recording this over here, see that? I kind of like that. So if you're looking to do screen recordings, this could be a popular option for you. And again, you can customize it. We can't really add comments because this is a day live stream. And all you do is click record. And then I go over here and then I'm recording. And I can change the view of this. I can have it full screen here. I can go back to that. I can just add this full screen layout here of your actual sc screen recording. So that's another cool feature. That if we go back to Restream here, I can click on Create New, and I can do a bunch of stuff here. I can schedule a video to be streamed. You can also do that on StreamYard. Uh, you can record audio and video here. 
double jump in the studio and test this same feature within Restream. Then if we click on Add C here, we can add slides, we can do a video, or we can just record the screen. So we can do the same thing. I can take a look at what StreamYard looks like for here. So we can do the exact same thing. I can move my face over to the side a little bit. We can do the smaller screen recording here. See my face down here. We can add branding here. So guys, these tools are very, very similar. So the final verdict here is I feel like StreamYard, the pricing wins and the user interface is a little more simple. So if you're not as tech savvy, I feel like StreamYard is a better option. But if you're looking for more customization, I feel like Restream is a better choice. It's like the Android user versus the Mac user kind of. Again, consider signing up with my affiliate links in the description from one creator to the other. I feel like I helped you guys out here. I've been using these tools for a minute now. And man, this is a close comparison. StreamYard versus Restream. Hit me up in the comments. What are you going to be choosing? All the links will be in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.